We're now at the Cambridge Cemetery. The Cambridge Cemetery is one of three cemeteries where the American airmen were laid to rest, who were killed during the air battle of Europe. These are prisoners of war during the Second World War. They were all shot down and served in one of the Luftwaffe camps, two log Luft camps, and were released at the end of the war. Laid a wreath to the fallen airmen with peaceful tranquility, for they also have families and dreams, dreams never to be fulfilled. We were bound together as military men to fight and work together to, est to establish a lasting peace. These great men, our buddies, our friends, our fellow crewmen gave themselves that we might live on to enjoy our freedom and a way of life. We reverently honor them for their devotion to duty and the friendship they still, we still cherish together. Words cannot adequately express what we feel today, for these feelings are too deep for mere words. They were brave young men, and for this, we pay rightful homage to them. Those of us gathered here today recognize the goodness and mercy that shall follow them as we, who are left, stand humble in their goodness. Many years ago, 1942, 1943, 1944, and 1945, they came to save this island, and I may add, the world from the evil empire. Little did they recognize that we, they would remain here in this beautiful cemetery. This trait to men with wings who gained that such That was Hal Johnson. Hal Johnson is the vice the president of the 91st of Bomb Group Memorial Association. journeys bravely set. Reward is granted by risk endure it. The pilot must judge and choose. There is no gain that's free of cost. You either win this game or you lose. God bless you all. This concludes the uh, short memorial service. We uh, have an hour and 15 minutes to uh, move about the cemetery. We want to thank uh, Superintendent Sean Ecker and his staff for providing not only this glorious site, but the beautiful maintenance and uh, uh, the uh, uh, This is a plaque that was uh, installed here by members of a city in England where a crew uh, crashed rather than going over town uh, and taking a chance on crashing into the town. Nobody can remain unmoved coming to this cemetery. There are 8,500 crosses interspersed with stars of David 
where airmen have been laid to rest. After the war, they went all through Germany recovering the bodies of the airmen who were killed in action and returned them to this cemetery. All right. Now we're going uh, towards the chapel. This is a beautiful chapel. And we will take you inside in a little while. Now this reads, on this great wall leading to the chapel are recorded the names of Americans who in this area of operations or in the waters of the Atlantic gave their lives in the service of their country and who sleep in unknown graves. There are 5,000 names on this wall leading to the chapel, all of them missing in action. This wall was installed in 1946, long before the Vietnam Memorial Wall. I have an idea perhaps that the Vietnam Memorial Wall, the idea for that wall came from this magnificent wall to the airmen missing in action during World War II. Here you see in the chapel the air battle of Europe. Emanating from England, the bombers flew all through the German Empire. We remember all of these uh, cities very well. Schweinfurt, Leipzig, Merseburg, Kassel, Dusseldorf. Cologne, Magdeburg, we visited each of those towns during our 35 missions, Bremen, Hamburg, Berlin. <laughs> Stuttgart, Munich, Nuremberg, Schweinfurt. This is the altar end of the chapel. The ceiling of the chapel is truly unique. Here we see eight red roses for the eight units. Here is the ceiling of the chapel with the B-17s flying towards the altar where God is represented by a Star of David with a dove in the center. No one can help but be impressed coming to this cemetery and deeply moved. 8,500 airmen lie here, each with his own tragic story, 
each died under terrifying conditions. The crosses fill up the horizon from east to west. In the distance is the beautiful English countryside. Here we see our friends holding the wreath to the fallen airmen. Here John and Tony hold the wreath to the fallen airmen. Beautiful morning, beautiful day. It's ready. You're now uh, John and I pick up and hold the wreath to the fallen airmen. Pick it up. This is Dominic and Yolanda <laughs> Bakari. Uh, they yeah, were friends we met over there. He was the lead navigator for the whole group. <laughs> and this is Chuck and Alice Breswick, who was also a navigator and uh, one of the friends that we met 